Howdy, folks. Time to rev it up. Uh, those of you that have been following for uh, the last uh, few weeks while I've been putting these uh, words of encouragement up, you know that that's the goal here for, for me is to uh, encourage you all uh, to stay the course uh, in, in life, in business, in the kingdom, following God. And encouragement is to infuse courage. Uh, when we encourage each other, uh, we actually get courage from that. And so uh, when you're out and about, you know, share something that you like about uh, the person that you're with. Uh, you know, share a word that you feel God has on your heart, but also share a word that you have on, on your heart. Encourage people about the things uh, that you see that's the greatness in them. And then that gives them courage to keep doing that. And if you want to be encouraged, be encouraging. Uh, it's it's key. You give, uh, you reap what you sow, and you give out uh, what you want, and it, and it returns to you. Uh, so be encouraging if you want to be encouraged. And like I said, it infuses uh, us with courage. I want to talk just a second about courage itself. Courage is not the absence of fear, per se. Perfect love does cast out all fear, but courage is the feeling the fear and, and making a decision to step into it so that out of love by stepping into it that fear can fade away uh, courage is feeling that fear and pressing in anyway i've got uh, one of the board members on our board of overseers for our ministry exodus uh, carl he always says run to the roar so that's the fear you know what you're afraid of run into it be filled with courage. Be encouraged. You all have greatness uh, inside of you. God has a calling and a purpose on each of you. So be filled with courage. Uh, feel, feel the fear that you feel and run into it anyway. Look me up at uh, t-rev.org. God bless you. Talk to you soon.